good morning and welcome to episode 9 of 52 weeks of awesome and as you saw by the sign I'm on my way to Old Harry Rocks this morning sorry it's uh, really dark on the video but I'm trying to get there for sunrise so I've got a mile to walk only takes about 10 minutes but yeah I want to make sure I get there well it's getting a little bit lighter already it's only a couple of minutes later um, but yeah I've come down to Old Harry Rocks I said on my last video that this was one of my future destinations and the weather this morning is pretty much perfect especially for flying the drone which is what I'm hoping to do I say hoping because you never know until you get down there. This is probably one of the most popular drone flying locations in Dorset. Every time I've been down here, there's been at least one other drone. And I would get a bit nervous if uh, there's another drone in the air. I wouldn't want any mid-air collisions. I've just noticed there's a big group of people about three, four hundred metres ahead of me, which is a bit frustrating because they could be photographers, um, which is quite likely, or I'm hoping they're walkers and they're not going to stop too long on Old Irie Rocks. Uh, but I'll send the drone up, whatever. I just don't like other people around because some people get a bit funny about them. I'm just going to take a quick detour and see what's down here. It says Danger Cliff Edge. So that to me is an invitation to go and investigate. I'm hoping that if I uh, slow myself down by a couple of minutes, the people that are ahead of me will have moved on. The moon is so bright this morning. I kept looking behind me when I was driving here, thinking there was a car following me, but it was just the brightness of the moon. Oh, there is way too many people here. There's there's loads all along the I say it's not massive crowds, but there's people sat down waiting for sunrise <coughs> to enjoy the view, which is fair enough. But it makes me a bit <coughs> less inclined to send the drone up. So that's old Dairy Rocks over there. Pretty awesome, isn't it? What I'd love to do one day is uh, a couple of times a year, I believe, it's really low tide and you can actually walk out there and go under the cliffs. So that is definitely a, a plan for the future. I was tempted to walk to the edge, but uh, the path looks a little bit precarious there. Oh, this is a bit frustrating because the people that are here, they're flying drones. And I won't send my drone up when there's other drones up in the sky. 
so this might have to be a droneless video which is annoying because this is the best place to put a drone up i mean obviously there's plenty of sky so the chances of hitting another drone are pretty slim but we'll see what happens but the sun is just coming up looks awesome on the horizon couldn't resist in the end you know I can't come to old Harry rocks and not send the drone up the other guys were down actually by old Harry so I thought I'd head a bit further up the coastline I've never actually got some shots from that point before so actually quite happy um, I will come back another date as the uh, as the year moves on and the sunrises get earlier and earlier there's less likely to be other people around so yeah we'll get some decent drone shots but I've got old Harry before with the drone so I'm not too disappointed now if I'm on the right path now or not. I found a, a walking guide for old Harry Rocks for like a circular walk to do from where I'm parked. So it takes you to old Harry then to Ballard Down which I think I'm uh, I think this must be Ballard Down and then a path back to the car but I've no idea if I'm on the right path or not so this could be quite a long walk. No idea where I am. I thought it was quite exciting to see Boris's announcement the other day because if all goes to plan as of the 12th of April I'll be able to travel a bit further afield and I'm so looking forward to that as much as I love Dorset I've been to most of these places before that I'm doing these videos of and it's gonna be so good to go somewhere new I've made a list of about so far I've got about 40 destinations which are possibilities for these videos for the rest of the year and they include waterfalls uh, climbing some mountains just lots of pretty epic stuff and I can't wait to get going so hopefully in a month's time they're gonna start 
so I'm really looking forward to that but this has been this has been great the obelisk let's go and have a look at that is that it? four stones five stones is that it? is that the obelisk? I mean it's no uh, it's no child oakford stone circle is it? Well, how stupid am I feeling right now? I saw a sign saying obelisk and then found those stones in the ground and I was like, is that it? But of course, stones in the ground is not an obelisk. That is an obelisk. <laughs> so I found it. So it turns out I did miss my turn in by about a mile, <laughs> which I was thankful for because it took me to the obelisk. But if you do the walk that I'm doing, which is highly recommended, this is the stone bench that the National Trust refer to. I'll put the link to that walk in the description, but it does say it's marked rest and be thankful. But I cannot see that anywhere, which is why I thought, ah, oh, there must be another one further up the path. But now that I've um, had a good look at the map, I can see it obviously was there but what threw me is from this rise you can't see the Glebeland estate which they refer to but once you get over this hill you can see it and it's massive and it's obvious but yes yeah, just in case you decide to do that walk that's where you need to turn right unless you want to see the obelisk and then carry on but just looming over the horizon there, which is now, like I say, obvious, is the Cleveland Estate. So that's it for episode nine of 52 Weeks of Awesome. Really enjoyed that. Wasn't how I'd planned at all. I thought there'd be a lot more drone footage. Only got about a minute's worth. I uh, thought there'd be a lot less walking, ended up doing about six miles instead of two. But really enjoyable walk, lovely weather, perfect morning for it. What I'm going to do, because I didn't get as much drone footage as I planned, I'm going to come back at another point and do just a drone video. So no walking, no talking, just drone footage of old Harry. So that's the plan for the future. So thanks for watching if you have, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next week. Where will I be? Even I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you on the next one.